geometric shapes and figures. Hey Starry, look at these shapes. We also call them figures. Do you remember them? Okay, don't worry. Let me tell you their names again. These are triangles. These are rectangles. These are squares. And these are circles. Now, let us do an activity. The first column here shows you some pictures. You like drawing, don't you, Starry? Good. Now, in the next column, you will draw the figure which looks like the picture. And in the third column, you will write the name of the figure. Starry, now draw the figure and write the name for that figure in the columns. Starry, let's begin. First the figure and then the name in the column. Good! You were very quick! Now, let us learn a little more about these figures. Rectangle There are so many rectangles around us. The window, the pillow, the walls, the TV set, the bed sheet have the shape of a rectangle. Let us learn more about rectangles. Look at this piece of paper. It is in the shape of a rectangle. Let us count its sides. One, two, three, four. A rectangle has four sides. It has two long sides and two short sides. These two sides face each other and are called opposite sides. These two sides are also called opposite sides. Now, let's have some fun. Let us fold the paper in this manner and observe it. Hey, look! This side folds over exactly onto its opposite side. Let us look at another fold. Wow! The longer side also folds over exactly on its opposite side. So, now we know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal in length. Now, let us look at our rectangular paper again. This paper has four corners. Each corner is called a vertex. So, the rectangle has four vertices. Let us do an activity. Fill in the blanks. A rectangle has dash sides. 
A rectangle has four sides. A rectangle has dash vertices. A rectangle has four vertices. The opposite sides of a rectangle are dash. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Square Starry, look at this pillow. It has the shape of a square. Let us learn more about the square. Look at this square-shaped paper. Let us count its sides. One, two, three, four. So, a square has four sides. Here is a piece of paper. It is in the shape of a square. Now, let us fold the paper this way and see. Look, this side exactly fits on the other side. When you fold it, one side fits exactly onto the other side. Now, let us fold the paper in a different way. Hey, look! This side also fits exactly onto the other side. Hmm, let's fold it in a different manner. Let us fold the paper through its corners. Look, these two sides also exactly fit the other two sides. This shows us that all sides of a square are equal. Now, look at the corners of this square. It has four corners. Each corner is called a vertex. So, a square has four vertices. Let us do an activity. Fill in the blanks. A square has dash sides. A square has four sides. A square has dash vertices. A square has four vertices. All sides of a square are dash. All sides of a square are equal. Triangle Hello, Starry. You seem to be doing something interesting. Oh, you are making a toren for your house. Good! Starry, do you see any geometric shapes in this toren? Yes, these are triangles. Let us learn more about triangles. A triangle has one, two, three, three sides. The three sides could be big or small. The triangle has three corners. Each is called a vertex. So, the triangle has three vertices. Let us do an activity. Fill in the blanks. 
A triangle has dash sides. A triangle has three sides. A triangle has dash vertices. A triangle has three vertices.